their 1v1. Has to joke, it's a nice start. Oh, well, he's taking a lot of trades from Cook now. Yeah, Cook was get the advantage now, just Kelsey having the bash. Shrapnel fade ball. Oh, they need one more. They find it. Yep, Sword will secure first blood. And this is essentially becoming a dual lane, and now it is successful. They get a much needed kill in the outworld of Devourer. They're gonna just try to fight anyways. There's no there's no Rubik here. There's gonna be the Rot Era. He's just been left alone. He actually dodges the hook, but is it gonna be enough? I don't think so. He has a fairy fire. He's gonna use it. He does oh, die, geez. and then Noya unfortunately does not get off that deny, but it is still a much needed trade. That is very important for Baby Knight. And yeah. Shadow Blade, uh, the slider, is getting really well farmed early on, which is difficult to do. Like Zoda get tranquils and his windlace and 300 and some oh, gold the hook. They Ooh, find Era. Yo. Good telekinesis, but I think Era is still dead here. Sanities comes out. Now the Crota, they'll find the Outworld Devourer. Could be an okay trade. Hester Joe's here, but it's too late. Can't get the Slithery Crush up. Now running in, looking for Koikva. Even with the amp damage, he can't really do that much. Now he can time walk. Just kind of trading of cooldowns around the map. Seems Invis Rune on Hester Joe here. Double crush. So the ring crush comes out. The pounce will connect as well. Fortune's end. Trixie still rather tanky. There's another hook coming out. They find Yaps or Telekinesis to save his life. Good stun. Fade Bolt. Hester Joe still alive. One more auto attack. Won't do enough. Yaps or going to get brought down. Dark Pack will do the job. Ace won't go further. Pops the Shadow Dance. And it is a two for nothing exchange. That Invis Rune is a disaster indeed. It's two wards dewarded in that same area by Imperial. Koikva wrapping around. Arrows here as well. Looks like we will see oh, Bronos nice. here. Good bash to come out first. Shrapnel comes out. The assassinate. This is a dead slaughter. He, uh, if he had a stick there, he might have been able to survive, but he only had a half second since the chrono ended. Very good kill. Void getting involved. Even arrow rotating up. Nicely done. Now mid hook. They'll find it on a Yaps or Telkinesis. They don't get it on Baby Knight. The Astral's coming through. He has Sanity. Sanity's rotated. He has the Chain Frost, but he gets blown away. Baby Knight finds the double with the Sanities. Noise still getting chased down by Trixie. The hook is there. There's the Astral. Baby Knight has to leave. He doesn't have much HP to work with, and he has no Arcane Orbs either. And it's still that. That's some significant damage from the Astral. Here comes the Assassinate. Won't do enough. It shouldn't anyway. He actually canceled the animation. Decided not to go for it. Still a two for one. Huge hook from Noya, huge sanities from Baby Knight. Yeah, that's without any stolen int too, right? Like, no. damn. Yeah, just the double null. No Arcane Orb. Sanities is ready, ready to go, and they should find this kill. Spell stolen, it's even at damage, which is pretty nice. It has to Joe with that on him, and uh, one more auto attack should be enough. Oh, oh no, the Astral does come out, but it is still the kill going with the assassination from the sniper. Baby Knight. He's amp damaged up now, which is a little frustrating. TP's down bottom. Cinderin, no Chain Froster. He does have it now. Frost Blast. Chain Frost here would be great. Blaster comes in. They lasso back the Oracle. Cannot get his False Promise off in time. Now Ace is getting chased down. More bounces, but it's only on the Creep Wave. Bounces up. He's got it ready to go. But he will use his... Telekinesis first. Astro to fall. Shrapnel coming next. Ace taking a lot of damage. Shadow Dance. False Promise in time. S. Joe might not be so lucky. Assassinate. Fate's Edict is there. And keeps him alive. Hook, but it's aggressive, and they'll use it on a Trixie. Looks like it'll be a one for one for so at least at this point. Now Air getting jumped on pounces there. Ace doesn't have a shadow dance. Air taking some significant damage. Will fall. And the Astral Baby Knight is rotated in to follow up and find that third kill. Yapsor almost certainly dead. Rise finds himself a double kill. And that went disastrously bad after the rotation from Baby Knight and a good hook from Noya. Off himself. There's a lot of mobility from this team. Meanwhile, Trixie, Noya has spotted him. Doesn't go for the hook though. Could set up the fortunes then. The Roche pit. Now avoids it. Now there's going to be the Chronosphere. It's on the OD. A huge pickup. They'll find the kill. No false promise. Still on cooldown. They will get the OD first. Now they'll chase up the rise. Time dilation, flame break, pushback will be there. And he can only just fate to edict himself and hope that he doesn't die. But unfortunately, it's a lot of heroes in the vicinity. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Astral hide from the App Store. Teep is coming in. No, nice set. Another the Trixie. Ace wants his tower. He's so low. Shadow Dance might be there. Telkin Aces needs to be careful. Frost Blast. They break down the two cores and they get the denial. In the jungle. Meanwhile, they're looking for more. Quick for time walking forward, but Hester Joe is able to blink out in time. That was a disastrous engagement coming out for the Radiant team. They lost so what much happened? gold. What happened on the go? Noi is going to be first contact potentially. It's actually Rise. And smoke will break. Ward dropped down. Imperial's ace. He's been spotted. Should have a sentry ready to go. They'll find the last one to Baby Knight instead. Yeah, so Slithering Crush. He might fall first. Well, Hook will nice fly. Hook. They find the kill on the ledge. Good Chronosphere. False Promise comes out on the slaughter. They still may very lose one. It's going to be the OD. And it's a two for one exchange. Ace on the backside. Shadow Dance can heal him back up. Koikva, he has time walk. He'll get away. 
The most hated thing for every support player ever. Oh, you're just gonna deward me because you have Shadow Dance? Great. Oh Actual, wow, they're going in, dude. They will find someone. It is going to be a lasso now. Blink out. Quakefa, Chain Frost coming in. Ace. They get the stun off onto Quakefa. He doesn't have Chrono Sphere anymore. They bring down Baby Knight oh, again. Ace. Is... Shadow Dance has to go. He's pushed to the high ground. He's with Quakefa. I don't think he can get this to Firefly, burning him alive. Both cores now dead, and you have to back here if you're Imperial. Great turnaround. They're looking for more Andoya. He's got the hook. Fade Bolt will grab Yapsor a double kill onto Rise. Trixie now does get hooked, but Annoy is in. He's trapped in there with them. That is a four for one engagement without Chronosphere. It comes down to some solid positioning from his. Open up again here on the dire side. Uh, who, whose ping was that? That was Yapsor's ping. So he did just See you later, say where they were. Good attempt at the hook. He gets the Yapsor instead. He can still get this false promise off, but he does in time. So he's going to keep himself up and alive. Astro comes in. Some surprise. We'll fly. There's the chain frost. Noah will certainly die first. A one for one exchange. Support for a support. Followed by Rise coming out. Sanity's doing some nice damage. Cinder and low end mana. They get off that pounce. They will find the sniper. A huge kill. Now has oh, to nice go looking for more. Blink up and ready to go. Saloon Crest doesn't connect, but with one or two right clicks, even the Astral. Baby Knight wanted that kill, and he'll get it. And uh, that is going to be two for three exchange. Very huge fight. Very, very big fight for Imperial. Trying to get back around. Yeah, that was great for them. I mean, they're up in the top, and they see the Spaces Void pushing the whole way down here with no TP. Yeah, my career hockey is down. Oh. Dire career. There's it a fight breaking out. Saloon Crush Telekinesis. Boyfa has Chronos for He wants to use it. And right now, might get dismembered, although False Promise comes out. Boyfa, that's his age is gone. It looks like no. Time walks away in time. Chain Frost stops the dismembering. But that's it. It's down now. Lasso, they will find Rise. I don't know if you turn this around. That's a big Saloon Crush if you wanted it. But it looks like it will be a two for nothing. Ace comes in. He's been spotted. Oh, Shadow Blade has to business. go. They have the gem. Telekinesis is there. He might have to use a Shadow Dance. Dark Pack comes out. Wants to get the kill on Trixie, who's gotten broken. But I don't know. Shadow Dance is already gone. Slithery crush out of three. Did he get the gem? Ace, did he pick it up? No. They, someone else grabbed it in time. It was Rubik. Still, though, Ace in trouble. Assassinate. Looks like he will fall. They do get the kill on the back, though. Hesse Joe does find Cinder, and it's a three for two. Still a better fight, though, by far, going for escape. As they pick up two supports, and more importantly, they get the kill on Ace. Yeah, that was weird. Um, is a lot of gold that goes to the slider in the end. 630, 18. Dude, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm leaving. I'm waiting it. for that <laughs> item. I, you and I are both like, what is it going to be? It would just be so weird to see the items. I don't oh. know. Oh, fight breaking out. Noe has been caught. Spell seal finds himself dismembered. Pretty good spell seal. And uh, Void will find himself another kill. Naked kill spree for Koiku, who's yet to die this game. Big gift escape win this game. It's going right. to be on the back of Koiku's play because he's done very well again, both in game one and game two. And it's We're just octoring Koiku. Soul booster, yes. Very much. Interesting. Soul. Watch him pick up a Bloodstone, and what I said earlier is just null and void. Well, I mean, what would a Bloodstone really do for you this game? A little cool down, um, like cooldown timer. You don't need it for mana. That's for damn sure. Hurricane bikes in and see you later, buddy. TP out, baby knight. Can he make it away in time? Yes, he can. TPs are too late from escape. They rotate Yaptor, but it was a little very. Three crush. We'll find Quick. We'll hold that oh. thought. Era. It's gonna get amped. That's a bad time to go for a hook. False promise comes out. Now Quick will force to get away. He doesn't have his ages, but he does get a Chronosphere off defensively, which actually maybe not got pushed out of by the flame break. Ace will find Trixie in the meantime. Wanting to get revenge after that last fight. Hooks there. They get the kill for Rise with Purifying Flames, which gets Ace up to about 4.3k gold. Uh, not the best fight. Now with Chronos Fury down for Imperial. Yeah, they're, they're pinging. They, they know They'll what's going on. Arrow. They have a scan if they want to throw it out from the Dire. Yeah, this is bad now for Escape Hook. Not going to connect on anybody. Very close. Last comes out. They've already brought down one. It's much quick for coming in. He's got that Chronos, but the Shadow Dance is already there in time. Force Wave Dismember comes out. Now look at the damage from Baby Knight. Should do enough. Still slowed up. The Ice Armor doing some nice work. Koifa. Chrono does only catch on Denoya. Astral to save him. They still have Sanities, by the way. And now Air on the backside. They get off the Hurricane Bike, but here comes Baby Knight. So they're in on to two. Ooh, nice. Sanities is about to get dropped, and there it is. Blowing them away. Baby Knight finds the double. Four dead on the side. Of escape gaming too much damage to deal with and imperial find a huge fight with a great smoke oh amazing engagement trend yeah chrono it wasn't i mean Jesus. all right well sanity's obviously back up he has another mystic staff or perhaps a hex blink Quick was thinking about it mid the in trouble hook see you later yules is going to come out but 
That Blink Dagger is not going to be able to get off. Another good hide, however. The Rot there, he might actually be able to make it. We'll see. Ace is going to find Quake, but time walks away. Sanity is not doing that much damage, actually. Quake, but as well as Trixie already survived. They do bring down um, Yapsor, unfortunately. He did get caught. Sheba's guard in the hive for Baby Knight. They want this tier 3 tower, and the ice armor will not be able to yeah, save Yeah, he's, he's just going to walk at them, because he's 40 seconds of Aegis left, so. He's taking some serious damage. Hook's going to connect. That'll be Trixie. He's done. See you later. Two hits from both Ace as well as Baby Knight. Gem is dropped. Good Slytherin crush. Hester Joe being a bit aggressive. Air is still not doing enough damage. Fable comes out. They drop the gem on the deck. Boy, for about half HP. Hook not going to connect this time for Noya. Air is still going to work. The blade mills there, and Air is like, they kind of have to wait. Unfortunately, the problem is that oh, Ace is going to walk up. They know that he's here. Telekinesis, Chrono, and two. Noya is nearby. Ace has the Shadow Dance, and here we go. The hook will come and connects beautifully. Assassinate is there, and Noya just being in the right place at the right time. That would have been a kill had the Pudge not been there. Although they do have an Observer Ward. Ace, can he get the Bash? Bash, Bash. Yules will come out instead. All of a sudden, he's going to have to do Shadow Dance here. Silver Edge is up in three. Chrono's These still body down. blocks, dude. Do they have detection? Yeah, they're, they caught him. False promise comes. Astral's not there in time. Assassinate. Will it do enough? I don't think they got the Purifying Flips, but the Guardian Greaves might be enough damage. Still taking a lot. He will drop, finally. A huge kill. Now they find the last one. That'll be Noya, and Air is going to work. Air low in HP for now. Blade Mill comes out. Air is not going to go for any further damage. I'll try to just bring him down eventually. Looks like he should get the kill, and Trixie will do so. Now they'll chase further. It's going to be the Yule Scepter. No Slytherin Crush. All of a sudden, Escape find themselves a double. Might find a triple for Koikva. Good fortune's end, but it doesn't last for very long. And Koikva still will not chase up to the high ground. But three heroes dead, including Ace on that Slark. Very huge fight for Koikva and the rest of the uh, Escape crew. Yeah, they needed that desperately. Um, MKB on the Courier. So good timing. But they have no Firefly Maybe for this night. fight. Lasso, they get off the Shivas, they get off the, the hide as well, but they find the Absor. He's going to use himself and already dying in Cinderade. Now, this is going to be a four versus five fight. This is not easy. The Astral coming out again. And it looks like the Absor does blink away in time, but he's going to get False Promise chased down, still dead. He actually stole it, I believe. Now, Hester Joe looking for Era. It's a three versus five. This is not a good fight for Escape. They need to leave, but they can't. Ace is pitching them in. Good oh, he's lasso. The They'll get the Knight off. They have the lasso. They have the damage. But meanwhile, Era's getting chopped down. They just don't have the damage. Now there's the false promise coming up. The Sanity's four dead. It should be five with Trixie inevitably falling. Blink up for Baby Knight. They need one more or two more auto attacks. And it looks like he should be able to oh, blink they got away. The Hook. Not there. He is going to make it out somehow. For now, uh, but Baby Knight forced up, and then he just gets himself an easy auto attack. With five dead and no buyback, that almost certainly should be at least a Rax. If However, it's not going to be easy. Trixie Firefly, Hook not going to connect. Noya was looking for somebody trying to help out Baby Knight. Forced up, Trixie says, find that lasso. It is an Aegis for the Outworld of Our False Promise comes out, however. Quickfoot should have his Chronosphere and does, but the time walking away. And now Baby Knight is going to run amok. Yule Scepter will come through. They'll keep him at least in the place for now. But meanwhile, they've already dropped down Era. They get off the Lotus Orb coming out. He gets the Greaves. Still tanky. The Chain Frost bounces are insane, but it's just not enough. So the Crush coming through, and Void will be the next to fall. Both cores dead, still with no buyback. Somehow they survive through that entire engagement, and Sin knows that it's too little too late. GG is called. Imperial are up 2-0 here in the Royal Arena Grand Finals. Woo! Well... Talking about how this game and the series is going to be close. It's like, what, 2K lead was the biggest thing we saw for the yeah. first 35 minutes of the game.